here with UT Dallas men's soccer head coach Jack Peel. Coach, just wrapped up the preseason, uh, finished two games uh, with a nice shut-up performance by the defenses, outscored those first two games with 5 nothing. but the sec- third game was rained out. Talk about how your preseason went and uh, what you saw and uh, what you liked from uh, those first three games. Well, as far as we're concerned, we're still in the preseason, and we count that all the way through, even through past Trinity and Southwestern. But the first part of it uh, went really well. The worst part of the whole thing was that uh, we've had several injuries uh, to key players along the way. But the guys came in really fit. They really worked hard. They had a great attitude. We have a whole lot done. We're changing a lot of things about what we've done in the past. And uh, to be quite honest, I was surprised how we did, how well we did against Richland because, you know, they're a uh, junior college national powerhouse most of the time. And they ended up playing LSU Shreveport. They had NAI and they had quite a few players in that um, extremely athletic and physical and a good team. And I, I didn't know what they would be. And I think we did a great job against them. And then we looked really good against Austin College for the first 25, six minutes until we were up 1-0 um, and had most of the game until the storms hit and we, we, it flooded us out and we couldn't finish. So we're happy and pretty excited about where we are right now. This weekend, open up the regular season up in Colorado Springs with uh, games at uh, Colorado College. You're playing Colorado College and Nebraska Wesleyan Friday and Sunday on the road. The first two of six straight road games to start the season. What's the mentality that you have to go into to keep these players focused for six straight road games before you really get a chance to play for the home fans? Well, they're excited about going and travel. And the, the Colorado trip, we do it every two or three years. It's, it's a good trip. It's an extremely difficult trip. Colorado College last year did it really well in beating Southwestern and Trinity, I believe. And, uh, you know, that's always a t- tough test for us. And we have to play this year on the turf, uh, I think, on their new field turf field. And playing at that altitude is tough. But it's a good trip for everybody to get together. And it's good for the guys. It's a bonding kind of a trip. Then to come home and go down and play Trinity and Southwestern again, I mean, it's easy. Our preseason, a lot of times, I worry about going 0-4. Uh, because of this preseason that we schedule, especially when you add Trinity and Southwestern on there every year. So it's it's tough and it's going to be hard. And then turn right around and go out to – wait to go out to Hardin-Simmons and, and Howard Payne to play. On the road is tough. The beginning of the school year is tough. Uh, but, you know, the guys focus on that and they take care of their business. And the, the toughest part of it is, is, you know, being away from school and being away from home. But they do a good job. After uh, four non-conference games, you open up uh, conference play in week three with two more road games. Last season, a return trip to the postseason tournament. What have you seen so far in this team that makes the Comets a conference contender? Um, I think uh, the depth of the team. We seem to have a lot more depth as far as you know players uh, that we can bring in off the bench and play. I think the fitness level of the team is much higher this year and the commitment to the team is strong and the personality of the team is very very strong and attack minded and we have enough returning players and we've added enough new players into the team to be a little stronger than we were in the years past. 